Hi. After switching out my GS R24 for, for M motorized faders for some maintenance, I had to put these in to do some, some work in my studio. And surprisingly, they've been very good because I don't think that they are really worth designed for studio scenarios, especially the way that I'm using them. However, they work well. So we've got a Q16, a Q32, we've got an iPad Pro, which I use solely just for meters, my metering of the Q32 disc. And we've got an iMac, sorry, we've got a, it's an iMac right here. And I use Reaper. And so the way I connect these, I connect them in, into Reaper program. I connect them into the Reaper program uh, in a little unusual way uh, because both of these units are clock masters. And so it's difficult to run clock masters together. Um, so how I do it is, is I use, I'll bring this up, I use I use two of the Allen & Heath apps, you watch, and I use it over USB. So I connect the first one to 32, the Q32 Mackie coming in. I click on the second door control and it's just a matter of finding which one it is up there. So that'll be the second one because it didn't come onto the same place. We make this 16. 16. And so then, of course, we need to try this to make sure it's getting its MIDI. Yep, that looks good. And the 16 over here, which I use, by the way, just for, as, as a, a MIDI driver for, for my effects within Reaper. And so there it is there. See, it's a Q32, which is 32 disc. And the 16, there. A little data, so that I'm running two apps at the same time. Now, if I bring up a program which I worked on, which I dragged in yesterday, I'll just find out where it is down here. Click on that. This is Reaper, and there's Reaper, it's come up. And And so I'm going to use this disk as a summing mixer. Even though it's digital, it, it's, it actually sounds better coming back through the system, through the disk, rather than just being returned via channels 31, 32, is which, is which where the iMac and Reaper return into from the master, which is up in there, of Reaper. The QU16 I use solely as my input. So if I'm tracking, I track through here and into Reaper. Um, but other than that, when I'm mixing, I use it solely as an interface, a MIDI driver, a MIDI driver to control, to control to control these levels here. These levels here, down there at the bottom. See, that's the Q16. And so I have 16 different channels for effects. Yep. And I can program my router, my track manager, a mute all, Q32 unmute all, Master mute, metro. This, uh, uh, sorry, my my uh, my click track, and this here controls over there. 
which is my, uh, as you can see, that just lit up. I can control instantly each bank of eight faders, or I can bypass for tracking. I bypass. I bypass uh, all of my effects, which are up in here. You will see that they'll go all red. See, that's just by pushing that one little click, one little button there. Yep. Yeah. And there's my router system there. That's my router system there. And um, and this is where all the this is where going down there. That's where all of the uh, the tracks for my tracking. From the source, they come back in there through back into the Q32, which is um, up in there. So they come through here and then go up into there. And so if I push W start, no, I've got to click on this. Oh, I can start it from here because I've programmed these in, I've programmed my soft keys in to um, play pause. Play pause, record, record uh, backwards, forwards to markers, um, and these these two here, these two here, these two soft keys, I have set to my exterior, my exterior, my um, my monitors, the Yamaha eights, and also some small Pro L speakers, which I just know the sound of. They're all powered, and my PFL, which comes my PFL from here, goes into my little, my small, five-inch Yamaha powered speakers. So the idea of this is that you need to learn how to use the keyboard commands, and this also works with the MacBook Pro, exactly the same. Oh. So there we are. It's available tonight for a sale. And so somebody's baby. The delays, reverbs. This is all on the this is all on the vocals. And I have this set for the instruments. That's how it, uh, you'll, you will see. Practices, I just pick it up. So if I just bring up this now. It's more like a doubling effect. Just some cathedral reverbs. This is, this is, I have the drums over here. Set up, of course. Set up. So hard for me to hold this. I'll try and show you. So there's my lead vocal there. There's my lead vocal there. I have to set to all. These are the instruments. So there's two banks. This here is the Q16. This here is a Q16. It's a big set two, big set one. But you need to understand how to use a router. This is kick. So the only thing is, the only thing is, it's, and that's my PFL. That's my PFL because my master mix, which is here, is going into here. Unless I, unless I turn it off. So that before, before I can I can PFL these instruments, etc. Using additive, the live mix. Room mics. So that all comes back in. 
via the USB-C back in here and it's mixed via it here. The effects units, effects, they come back in through the master out, master out, and they come back in up through here. understand that and you can automate this you can automate this even though they say you can't and the way to automate it I'll just stop this and the way to automate Reaper is over in here what you do the GSR has this the GSR has some buttons pushed the way you can turn the MIDI going out and coming back in, read, it's called read and write, you can turn it off. But if you turn off the Q32 to nothing, like so, and the 16, if you turn that off to nothing, so we've only got the input ports happening here, the only the input ports, that means the data from the movements from these faders will be recorded up into Reaper when you activate the automation within Reaper and then you turn you can turn those back on you can turn those back on and your Reaper desk sorry your Reaper Reaper and the desks the desk faders will automate so therefore you can go over and over it within Reaper getting it right and then finally you can turn on your output ports back over in there and your faders will move like an automated desk. Hope this works for you. Thanks.